Hey, Dew Drops, it's Diane from Coravina. Welcome back for our Thursday afternoon scarf making challenge where we watermark a beautiful scarf that you have voted on in front of your eyes while you watch on either Facebook or YouTube. All right, so what up, YouTube? I'm so glad to be coming here with you live. Um, this is something new that I've started doing. We used to just stream in the Facebook group, but I really wanted to come and see you guys at the same time. Okay, so every day live at five, we make a water marbled scarf. And what is that? That is literally painting on water. It is so cool. If you've never seen it, prepare to be amazed. Um, this is what we did yesterday. We did a water marbled scarf with many different color palette, or we had like an eyeshadow palette that was teals and purples and blues, and it was just gorgeous. So we're into four different patterns and color combinations. Okay, so there's number one. Got number two here, teals and navies. Number three, we had a lot of purple, a little bit of teal. Number four, it's a lot of blue with a little bit of purple. So I love this scarf. I really do. I'm a little sad because I think it could come out more vibrant than what it was. You know, it happens sometimes. So today we're going to load it up with paint. We're going to get really vibrant. Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? Hope so. So I'm going to put this aside and we're going to keep it nice and pretty for whoever is meant to own that scarf. Okay. Let me talk to you about our options today. We had option one, option two. Option one was navies and grays. All right. Option number two was purples and berries. You guys voted loud and clear and you chose option number one. Okay. So that is what we're going to do today. Let me show you our color palette here. We have got cream. To start off with because it's not really a white white it's kind of an off-white cream silver can you see our shine there it probably won't show up super shiny metallic-y on the scarf uh, but you might see a little little glimmer okay so we've got a lark a darker gray kind of a charcoal here i'm thinking about this guy it's a gray blue we'll see how it goes then we've got kind of our cobalt blue or true blue classic blue according to pantone and then we've got our name okay so i think they're going to be really pretty i'm excited i'm going to play around with dropping the paint in the tray and uh you know where i do the marbling so guess what i just forgot to do i forgot to clean the surface of the tray so you guys are going to get to watch me do that can see there's a lot of paint on the surface of my tray. Let me switch views here. Hey, dewdrops. Okay, so there's a lot of paint on the surface of my tray. Can you see all this? So pardon me while I clean it up really quickly. I was busy mixing up some navy paint right before we got started, and I was like, yeah, I think I've got it all. I did not. That's all right, though. So why do we clean the surface of the tray with newspaper? We do this because, hello, uh, we do this because the only thing that really matters to us when we're water marbling, as far as water goes, is that the surface is clean and clear, all right? So you'll see that our water looks a little bit cloudy, and that's totally normal. We've been, we've made four scarves on this tray now. Our water's getting a little polluted, no big deal. We're just going to skim the surface with newspaper. Try not to sink it or drag it. Those are also key. But we want to make sure we've got a nice, clean surface to work with. Usually I do this before you guys see. So <laughs> consider this behind the scenes footage of the Coravina Scarf Show. Okay, so let's take a white piece of paper and slide it across the surface. Hope you all can see me. I'm not sure what's going on. Here's my white piece of paper. You all are gone. Our white paper clean back clean, so we're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Since it looks like we may be having some kind of computer issue, I'm gonna go ahead and record this on the phone in case it gets lost. Bear with me for just a second, because there is nothing sadder than making a scarf and losing the footage. All right. Here we go, guys. Let's make a pretty scarf. Okay. I'm going to start same way I always do. I'm going to go with the lightest color and we're going to go 
straight down the center of the tray. You know, you may water marble, you may do it a little bit differently or be taught a little differently. That's totally fine. We all do something different. We all get beautiful results. That's what matters. I like to go straight down the tray because it pushes everything out um, that could be hiding, like dust or debris or anything of that nature. All right, guys. So I'm just going to start dropping. I'm going to drop in horizontal lines today. Let's just go see what we've got. So I've got a gray line here. See how it spreads so nicely with one of, being one of the first colors on the tray. They do spread really nicely. Oh my, I have got something very gross happening there. Let's hope that's done with. Eek. It's like, I don't know what that's about. It's like a slimy paint consistency on our bottle. Ooh. Yeah, well, it's always something new. <laughs> There's always something new to learn in the water marbling studio. I have no idea what's up with that. I'm going to have to solve that problem another time. Okay, so I'm going to come in here with my silver. Let's see what happens. All right. Well, I'll tell you what's happening. We have a stubborn silver bottle. Perhaps this is why I put the silver away. All right, we'll take the lid off and we will be very careful. And I'll just remember, I need to replace this bottle or the paint. There we go. And I think I'm going to carry it down on the other side here. And I'm going to try and go one drop at a time. We're playing a dangerous game without our nozzle here. But that's okay. We're getting it. This is definitely an abstract art for me. I know there are people in this world who make beautiful, unbelievably gorgeous, intricate, detailed, controlled I think control being a, a key word here, uh, designs. And I'm not one of those people. I like to kind of just go with it. You can be controlled if you want. Um, but I have found for Facebook Live, it's much more fun to be a little crazier. So I'm just dropping down over top of my navy. We're going to come back in here with our off white and drop a couple of lines. Y'all, I hope that my battery lasts because I just had a message on both my phone and my computer that my battery is very low. <laughs> so I hope you get to see the end of this video. We're coming in here with our blue and that is flowing spectacularly. We're gonna move fast, okay? Cause I want you guys to be able to see the end of it. So I'm just dropping in vertical lines. We're getting a little sloppy and that's okay for today. I don't have time for this. We have time for finicky bottles. Do you like my new sound? I found a royalty free music website. So we're giving that a shot. I know it sounds a little bit different. It's because it is. You're here. Oh, good. I'm so glad you're still here. My screen went black for a little bit. So if I had a really confused look on my face, that's why. I did not know where you were or what you were seeing. All right, so once again, we are water marbling a silk scarf. We are literally dropping paint onto the surface of a very thick tray full of water or a tray full of thick water to be more exact. 
So once we're ready, we are going to <laughs> drop, we're gonna move our paint around with tools. And then we're gonna drop down a silk scarf on top of the paint. It will instantly absorb into the scarf. It is so cool to watch. You're gonna love it. And then we'll have a one of a kind silk scarf in just a few minutes. Coming back in here with our cobalt. And I feel like we don't have enough white. Could be wrong. I don't have my picture in front of me like I usually do, so I can't compare with our eyeshadow picture, which is why I think our colors have been just a bit off lately. All right, but it does look like we have a lot of paint on our tray, so I'm hoping good hope. Got a lot of hope. All right, we're gonna bring in our tools. We're gonna start moving our paint around on the tray here. And you can see our pattern start to adjust. 